100 years ago, the war that was supposed to end all wars began in Europe. Sure did. It wasn't long before the United States got involved in World War I, and Northeast Wisconsin sent thousands of its finest. Many didn't come home, but one sure did. And this weekend, his daughter-in-law will tell his story, a story that really speaks for all who were there. They called themselves Doughboys, young Americans sent to France to help defeat the Germans. Among the draftees, a teenager from Manitowoc County named John Libke. His tour of duty is being meticulously remembered this weekend thanks to his daughter-in-law, Emily, who years ago wrote down everything he remembered about the war. It was heartwarming. Sometimes he had tears in his eyes. Those stories are now in print in a book written by Emily, a long but worthy process. I am proud. I am very proud of it. Otherwise, I would be lost and gone forever. It's rare to find such an extensive collection of relics that have survived in nearly pristine shape for almost 100 years. Everything from his war diary. He kept these notebooks in his pocket. And their names of cities and the mileage to the cities in this notebook where he went to his uniform look at it fits he looks just like, like his grandpa emily says there was one chapter of his wartime experience that was harder to write than the others one of the most gruesome battles in u.s military history in the argonne forest uh, that was by far the worst yeah bullets rained on them and the airplanes were raining bullets on them men would climb the trees and they would holler help me Help me, God save me, and they were shot down by enemy fire. He had uh, his gas mask on and the goggles on the gas mask he could hardly see and it was unbearable at night. But through the horrors, there is also the story of determination and survival. And that's the story Emily wants to bring out. They went through so much, I just can't believe it. How they saw their buddies getting killed and just struggling through the war. And uh, a lot of them didn't make it, but some made it. Some of the lucky ones made it to tell the stories. Great lady, wow, isn't she? Yeah. Now, Emily did a fantastic job with that book. Actually, she's written two different books on uh, war veterans. Right. The display is really impressive. You can check it all out on Sunday from 2 to 6 at Twin Fountains Banquet Hall in Manitowoc. Great oh, check lady. It out, yeah.